uh, now moving to a next one. A uh, project that was uh, implemented in Hungary and we will have with us uh, two representatives of the Hungarian Scout Association. Um, it's also a project that it was almost 10,000 euros from which uh, we financed also uh, 50%. Kata and Nicoletta, you have the floor. Hi everyone, Nikki, it's your turn. <laughs> Hello everybody, uh, I'm Nikki from uh, Budapest and uh, let me introduce uh, our mentor uh, uh, project. Uh, the aim of this uh, project uh, to find experiences for the adults um, and uh, we like to send for mentors throughout uh, the country in Hungary. Uh, this is the short term. But long term, uh, in our vision, there are 50 mentors uh, for the whole country. Uh, at least they work uh, one year long, we hope. But uh, it's a difficult question uh, when you do it uh, like a volunteer. Um, yes, what they, this, the, these mentors are doing uh, um training days uh, with the aim of a qualitative troop work uh, with different focuses uh, strategy planning uh, leadership training only motivated the leaders and you know more motivated leaders uh, more tried in the scouts as association uh, yes after this they can uh, you can move to the next page. Yeah, next thank page. You. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so they can do a real program uh, for rovers and uh, ranger, rangers, uh, coaching and facilitating time management. So there are a lot of uh, uh, type of training they we can uh, do. Uh, because they are speaking with uh, all the troops, they can build in bridges between these and uh, collect the information and giving the national board, or uh, they can uh, they can share it uh, each, each other. There are uh, four or five uh, five uh, weekends. Um, we are after the first weekend and the second is coming. Um, the ideal uh, mentors are uh, up uh, 20 years old and uh, it's very good if they were troop leaders, but not necessary, but they can uh, feel and they know the things what they go through like troop leaders uh, as i know we are uh, over the first weekend and we have 26 candidates it was difficult because of the covid um, and you can see if if we go to the next pages <laughs> you can see a lot of uh, pictures uh, about the first weekend. Yes. Um, and the next slides as well. Okay. Yes. And uh, that was all what I think to tell you in these few minutes. So thank you so much. And it's the next, uh, next it's good. slides as well. It's good to hear a project that is actually happening now. You are lucky that uh, you can do it in these circumstances. Yes, we are trying. Yeah, so uh, take care and continue. And we are looking forward to see uh, the final uh, photos, videos, and final report. And of course, to uh, have the mentors uh, in place in their scouting activities. Yeah, we hope so. Thanks for Thank the inviting. You Thank you for coming. Well. <laughs>
and now uh, we are moving um, Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for this nice message. And now we are moving uh, quickly, quickly to um, um, another project uh, that uh, needs our support, uh, the Clubhouse in Czech Republic. Uh, this is, a, uh, I would say, a huge project, an uh, impressive project uh, that's already financed by several uh, type of external and internal donors and it's a small amount of money that is asked for us but I will leave uh, the floor to Pavel to present uh, this project in detail. Hello everyone I'm afraid it's not me but it's Anna who is... All oh, right okay <laughs> <laughs> sorry Pavel. <laughs> Anna you have the floor then. Anna, can you hear us? It's working well for you. We can see uh, from admin's uh, side that Anna unmute herself, but we can't hear you, Anna. So, yeah. um, so maybe Pavel, you can help us. Well, I'm aware about the of, of the project, of course. Uh, but I'm not the one who could give you more details on that. To be Don't confident. worry, we have some slides. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to invent a story? No, no, no. <laughs> so I can tell you that Scouts from Gicheni, uh, which is a small town near Prague, uh, have recently lost their uh, meeting place because uh, it burned down because of their fort and uh, they have already in development a new scout club room uh, which is quite nicely designed uh, and which needs the support we as the czech scout foundation we uh, are running uh, uh, a donation collection uh, which is partly funding but there is much more money needed you can see the uh, the architecture which is quite uh, modern uh, the scout group uh, in Zichani is growing, so uh, actually the, 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 even, even the burned down club room was not meeting their needs. Uh, so they are trying to collect uh, from various sources uh, uh, the money for the completion. They have already uh, built the basis and they are now building the upper parts. Uh, so any kind of uh, support uh, would be appreciated. You can see how does the club room look like after uh, the fire, which broke in summer this year. Uh, not many things survived, uh, but still scouts are in a good spirit. And you can see how does it look like at the moment, the current status of the building. But I hope Anna can join us and tell you more from the field. Anna, can you hear us now? Um, I see on the chat that you can, but we still can't can't hear you back. Some problems with the microphone, unfortunately. But Kirk, if you can just click to the next slide, please. I'm um, uh, I'm I'm sure that Pavel, you can make some stories with this slide as well. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, as you can see, this is quite a costly thing. Uh, they nevertheless, the scouts from Zicheni managed to cover the majority of them, thanks to the town which is supporting them, thanks to the donations that we are collecting at the Czech Scout Foundation. They also have their own uh, money uh, and they are applying for many regions. They also, uh, I think, received a loan from our national association, which they will have to repay back anyway. Uh, so you can see that actually about 40,000 euros is still missing and they are applying for uh, a donation from FOSE uh, equal to 10% uh, of this money, which is still missing. So you can see it's really collected piece by piece uh, and they are doing uh, uh, whatever they can to really start to operate in spring in a new uh, in a new place. Thank you so much, Pavel, and thank you, Anna. Don't worry, Pavel. I think he already sent the good messages uh, to all of us. 
um, and it's a very interesting project that uh, maybe we could uh, help you finalize with at least a little bit of it, actually, we could big one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. This was it on the project side for today. Please don't hesitate if you liked some projects also to go on the European Scouts Foundation projects. There are still some projects that are listed there that need their support and that we didn't present today. Thank you. So I just will add that more information about this and other projects you can find our, uh, on our website. So uh, please go there and have a look and you can you know, get some more details on the ongoing projects as, uh, and also uh, the ones that are looking for uh, support. Okay, so that's the project part, uh, a most important part of, uh, of our work, but we can't um, you know, support any project without this small, teeny, tiny part that's called money.